Hi, my name is Lai Chunder. I'm a final year student from Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Today, I'm going to talk about what is an accelerometer. Accelerometer is one of the tiny devices that can measure the orientation or the movement of an object. And it really comes to handy when you try to measure a moving object. We have multiple axes of the orientation, which is the x-axis, y-axis, and the z-axis. I have this board, and I have one accelerometer inside this board. If we want to try to measure the orientation of this board, this is the x-axis, this will be the y-axis, this will be the z-axis. So with this x, y, z axis, you can tell whether the object is facing up or facing down. With this acceleration data, you can use it and input to your project and do some cool stuff. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how I retrieve the acceleration data, convert it, and then input to the monitor screen. So we will need to design SBI master to communicate with the accelerometer. The following is the communication protocol of the accelerometer. We need to bring down the chip select and start the S clock and the data transaction will be in the process. Let's say we are going to reset the accelerometer. We will send 0A as the right instructions, 1F that is the address of the soft reset and 52 to reset the accelerometer. When it is done, the CS is bring back to the high and therefore complete the data transactions. This is a block diagram of the whole systems. So the SBI interface exchange one byte data with the accelerometer and the accelerometer controller controls the SBI interface for the overall data transactions. After the data transaction is complete, the accelerometer controller send the received three axis data to the data converter to convert the data into VGA mode. The VGA controller will then take those data, translate it, and then output to the monitor screen. If it's on the first boot, it send soft reset to the accelerometer, enable the measurement mode, and configure the accelerometer. Once it is done, it reads the status of the accelerometer register. If the data is ready to be read, it reads the data for 16 time, sum them up together and average them into acceleration data in VGA form. Finally, it is displayed on the monitor. Now I will show you the simulation result of the accelerometer controller. The process completed roughly at 200 microseconds. So when the eye sample take goes to 1, the first 3 byte data sent is right here. If I zoom in, you can see I'm sending 0A, 1F, and 52 which on the next 3 byte write operation, I'll clear off the reset command by setting write command to the reset register set as 00 to clear the reset command. I enable the measurement command to the acceleration data and then I send the 0B which is a read command to 0B because 0B is the read command and the address of the status register is also 0B. I use test map to generate 1 back to me which indicates the data is ready. It reads on 0E which is the x-axis data. Now that we have done the simulation result, it is time to implement into the hardware. This is the final result after we have implemented into the hardware. Here I use an iPhone as a representative of commercial products that compare with my FVGA board. Both devices contain accelerometer and both will detect the orientation of the device. So now I will move both devices in the same time. 